Today on the Dream Young Effect podcast, we have our guests, Lisa and Brian from Omnium Circus. Please enjoy. Dream Young Media Live. Like, comment, subscribe. Dream Media Live. Like, comment, subscribe. Well, first of all, Lisa, thank you um, for coming on the Dream Young Effect podcast. We truly appreciate it. We're very excited to have you. Yes. Um, we've, um, you know, Nikki and I both have, you know, of course, we know a little bit about your organization. You know, this circus idea you guys got is, is very original. Um, and I just love how you fuse, you know, people with special needs and people who do not have special needs and you put it all into one package. Tell us about you. Tell us about the project and shoot from the hip. All right. Well, that's what I can do. Y'all go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So the project stemmed out of the realization that people with special needs, quote unquote, and that term has its own yeah. litany of controversy. Yes. that in order to create a fully inclusive society, everyone needs to be valued for who they are and access should be a given. Yes. Access shouldn't be special. You shouldn't have to pay extra to access something that everyone else can just get. Like you should right. get it too. Definitely. So for example, um, my friend Brian, who is blind, I should have audio description every show. Why shouldn't he be able to come to any circus he wants to? He grew up coming to the circus on a special day when we offered audio description. Mm. That should be a given. Okay. I created shows for many years for another circus where one day a year we would relax everything and change all the sensory input so that people on the autism spectrum or with neurodiversity could feel comfortable. And that's great. And there's, it's a wonderful thing to do. But what happens if you've got one kid on the autism spectrum, one kid who does something else, and one kid has a baseball game, and one kid has a soccer game, and one kid, you know, right. then you can't bring your family together. Yeah. And this, yeah. to me, the circus is, an, is a place where you can create memories, and you can bring families together, and you can bring communities together. So the end of the story is that during the pandemic, as all the other circuses shut down, um, I said, let's, and this has been in my head for many years, but I said, let's just try it and see what happens. Let's see if we can create a professional circus that is not only accessible to every audience member, but is inclusive of all peoples in the ring. Everything showing who the best that they are. Okay. And that's really important because you don't want to look at someone and say, oh, I'm going to evaluate you based on that you have no legs or that you are deaf or like that's not the first thing you evaluate. Mm -hmm. You evaluate mm -hmm. who are you as a person? Right. What are your skills? What are your talent? What is your story? Hey, what's going on, Brian? How you doing today, sir? Good, good. How's everything? Good to good to meet you. Good to meet everybody. Thank you. Thank Sorry, you. Very you're no, no, fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. Brian, a quick description. I'm sitting in. This is Lisa, and I'm wearing a purple shirt, and I'm sitting against a purple fuzzy chair, and there's purple on the walls. Today is a purple day, <laughs> <laughs> and I have my Omnium T-shirt on. Nice. I like it. And next to me, in the next box, you guys want to describe yourselves a little bit. Yeah, well, I'm 6'4", probably can't tell because I'm sitting down. Um, we are in a gray room with basically uh, 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 octagons behind us with like uh, like octagon shelves behind us with um, red kind of decorative things on the shelving. And and also Nikki's here as well. Which and I'm wife. Nikki, mm -hmm. right? And uh, we are with Dream Young Arts and Media. I'm, I'm also, uh, we come from the land of the giants. I'm six <laughs> feet tall. <laughs> so everywhere we go, we're towering over everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, other than that, I am happy to meet you both. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. And, and, and so, Brian, we kind of started the interview. We we're into it about two or three minutes. But Lisa was just breaking down you know, some of the details behind you know, why she started it. Um, and can you kind of tell us how you how you impact the organization and what your take is on why you guys do what you do? Well, um, circus and live entertainment has dropped the bone when it comes to inclusivity yes. okay and i'm going to echo something what lisa just said mentioned earlier when you go to a live performance whether it's a broadway show whether it's to the movies whether it's to yeah the music can tell you what's going on and yes everybody follows the music but there are sometimes things that you may miss 
actions you may miss. Like for example, the person is dancing forward and now they change the costumes and now this is happening and this guy is gonna flip through the air, for example. There's some yeah. things that you miss. Mm -hmm. And okay. in lieu of that, certain shows have a day, which is one day out of the season, out of the year where they have audio description. For example, the um, circus I used to, the Big Apple Circus uh, back in the day, they only had one day of Circus of the Senses, which had audio description for that one day. Mm -hmm. So if there's another time that you, um, your, family, your family goes to the circus, oh, this child is going to have to miss out because there's no audio description, or this child is going to miss out because there's no sensory adaptations for, on the autism spectrum, for example. Hmm. So what so how can we change that? Yeah. To change that, we have a circus that's inclusive any show all the time. Every show that we have yeah. audio description, sign language interpretation, relaxed seating, and a calming center for all patrons. Beautiful. And oh. that is how we have designed our show to become inclusive for all, for families and children of all ages. That's great. And this is, a pro this is a problem in entertainment venues across the board, sure. where they forget about inclusivity. I and agree. that's very important, especially in this day and age. I agree. Wow, I didn't even realize that it was once a year. Honestly, I thought it was something that happened like once a week. They have like every Wednesday, it's, and you're saying no. That's yeah. very, very surprising. Yeah, they have the budgets yep. to do it. You know, a lot of these places they have, because it's not really it's not really that difficult to implement the technology to include more people in in, in being um in, in, in just enjoying the show. Sure. You know, and we noticed that about you guys that the production is, is a high level production. It's, it's quality. It's, it's a yes, quality it production, which yes, we love. We sat down, we sat through it. We enjoyed the whole show from start to finish. Yeah. And we noticed that um just all the all the video work. All the and on um, the, the sign language, everything that you, all the work that was put into the production, we know that it was done with love. It's noticeable. So I know that that's not easy to pull together. Just mm -hmm. putting together this podcast right here in this one room, just me and Nikki, <laughs> right. has its challenges. <laughs> and so, tell me about how do you guys organize all those people and organize all the moving parts? Oh, that's the story <laughs> of my life every day. Somebody said to me last week, um, the chairman of our board, Jonathan Lee Iverson, said to me last week in a meeting, somebody needs to put a video camera inside Lisa's brain oh. <laughs> and make a documentary of how all <laughs> things come together. Um, it's definitely, it's a lot. It's definitely mission driven and it's definitely driven by love and it's definitely driven by the necessity to lead the world right. it's not we went to our ticketing platform right as we're transitioning into a live show their technology isn't accessible why not they don't want to mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're minimally mm -hmm. compliant with the law right yeah. this is what the law says we have to do well what the law says you have to do doesn't actually serve the individuals you're choosing to serve so what we're hoping to do is, this is not the question you asked. I'm sorry, I'm off on something. No, 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 no. I love it. Yeah. Um, but what we're really hoping to do, and we are doing, is to be at the forefront of a global movement for change, for people to realize that as a successful, great production, you can do all of this. And hopefully mm -hmm. they'll follow. Right. And they do will. The same thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a lot of extra work. And it's worth it because we're all people. We all deserve to be valued. This isn't 1915. This isn't World War II. Yep. We don't have those things anymore. Right. There are so many systemic fallacies in our world that it's just not that way now. That's not who we are as a people. Yeah. And we need to be who we are moving forward, not not backwards, not racist fools. 
Yeah. Yes, and I agree. Like, moving Amen. forward with love, and yeah, it's a lot of work. And right. I, we have a team of just incredible people, all of whom are working so, so hard. We see okay. that. Congratulations. Yeah. So if anybody wants to donate Thank money, y'all go right on ahead. Please, right? That's please, right. Please. That's right. And I will share all your links. Of course, I'll share your links in the video description and all that good stuff to make sure people know where to find you and support the mission. Mm -hmm. So definitely. But that's, um, you know, you're raising the bar. Well, you're mm -hmm. actually raising the bar right. for a lot of other circuses out there. And hopefully it catches on like wildfire because it's a necessity at this point, especially in the climate that we're in right now in the world. We need something to help... Um, you know, bring people together and help them have an escape that's that that's family focused. So I love the idea. The whole idea that you guys got is just amazing from start to finish. And that's another reason why we basically uh, use our platform so that we can, you know, we can bring these things to the forefront. These these things are important, and they may not be important to the masses, but there 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 is a sector of people where this is everything to them. Yep. And that matters. In inclusion is is basically, you know, what I'm getting at. Exactly. And mm -hmm. to your point, the masses don't know. Right. They, right. Just, they don't know. And it's our job to share. It's our job to say, look at these amazing individuals that you didn't even know existed because they've yes. been hiding in a corner because they had no opportunity yeah. and they had no access. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look and, at all of these amazing gifts that we all have and we all share. And the masses need to be included, too. And they yes. need the, I mean, for the first time, NBC aired the Paralympics during prime time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Now I got other issues with them because everything, you know, everything's a journey. Mm -hmm. And some things they did really well and some things not so much. Right. But, yeah. you know, you say the same thing about me, about everybody. You know, everybody's yeah, struggle. Yeah. We all do the best we yeah, can yeah. with what we have every day. So, For those of you who plan, plan on watching the show, for those of you watching out there, try, try the features. Try the adaptations. Learn. Learn about how people with disabilities or able, people who are visually impaired or deaf are able to enjoy a show like this. Try the audio description. Listen to, to the description. Listen to what they're saying, how they describe the lights, how they describe the change of the colors and the lights, the tone of the music, the costumes, the people flipping through the air, wow. a somersault. Yeah. Listen to that. Take that all in. Take the opportunity to learn about how we as individuals adapt to whether it's live entertainment or whether it's going to the movies mm. take the time if it's available take that option and just learn and experience that right. for a moment that's great well said well said well said and yeah. uh, to um brian's point and just if you share with your audiences our virtual production the one that you saw is as to this weekend, you can just buy a ticket and watch it. There's a discount code. Um, if you want to spend your Labor Day, if it rains or whatever, and you want to watch the show, great. After this weekend, it's going to be by reservation only. So any schools, any groups, anyone who would like to experience this incredible production, no problem. You can go to our website, omniumcircus.org, and then there's a on the page that says schools and groups, you can click a link and you can make a reservation to bring it into your school with wow. the study guide, with the social story, with everything. And that's, Beautiful. so we will continue that. And then the reason we're doing that is because we're focusing on bringing up a live show and we just don't have the bandwidth to maintain both okay. platforms simultaneously. No, that's totally okay. understandable. I get it. So, I get it. but it's still available. And we just actually, this week, we have a school coming from Australia. Schools in Atlanta, schools across the country, Beautiful. you have this option. Like, make this a part of your curriculum. Do what Brian said. Listen to the audio description. You get a link to the show. You can watch it in a typical version the way you're used to. And then watch it again with the audio description. Look at the sign language interpretation. Listen right. to it in a plain language format. Listen to it in Spanish. That's right. Great. And Brian, uh, you helped me understand because um, if you hear it, then you can visualize it even without seeing it. Yeah. So that's important. That's, that's critical. Very that's critical to enjoy the show. Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, uh, thank you for that. And and that needs to be, cause you can say visual description, but until you're, I, I guess they are actually going through it is when you see how important it is. Cause how can you enjoy it? If you can see it, yeah, you can see the flipping in the, but if you cannot, you can actually visualize it if someone's describing it to you. So that's great. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a learning curve, you know, um, between the people who who have special needs, you know, and people who do not. Um, there's a learning curve. So it's going to take time for them to adapt, for them to really get, because you got to put yourself in that person's shoes and say, oh, now I get it. Now I understand right. why this is so critical and why yeah. this is so important yeah, to exactly. understand, you know. It um, does take time. It does take time. It does. Yep. It does. And so what, um, so how can people get in touch with you? You know, what's your website, you know, tell people your, all your contact information. So, so our website is omniumcircus.org. You can also get, if you want to bring your group, you can email group sales at omniumcircus.org. And we will definitely take care of your requests and your accommodations and your needs. Yeah. If necessary. Yeah. So we are all hands on deck. We are all here to serve. And we look forward to everyone being able to attend this wonderful and fabulous presentation. Fabulous. Thing. Yes. Beautiful thing. Okay. And, and when you go to our website, you'll see also, um, in addition to an incredible show, we have mentorship programs for people like we spoke of before that have never had the opportunity to join our industry. Yes. Yeah. So we have mentorship programs to to make our industry more inclusive and to bring more people in. So in addition to serving people as an audience mm -hmm. to bringing an incredible show that everybody can enjoy and come together, we are also employing people. We have the national average of people with disabilities is one in four. Okay. The average um, job, the employment, most companies employ less than seven. Seven percent is the bar that set that's set by the government. Mm -hmm. Most companies are at one or two percent. We have twenty six percent. Wow, that's great. The same goes for BIPOC communities. The same goes for any other community that has not had all other communities, not any all other communities mm -hmm. for whom the opportunities have not been available. So we have all of that on our website in addition to our education programs and in addition to a corporate diversity, equity and inclusion program that we have to teach adults, not just kids, but to teach adults exactly what you said, how to walk a mile in someone else's shoes. Yes. Yep. Tell us a little bit more about, you know, recruitment. Um, you know, of course, talent is important. Having the right people um, doing the right job. So how are you guys going about recruiting people and recruiting new talent? So we are quite open. If you are interested in a position with us, um, the email is jobs at omniumcircus.org. And keep watching our website. By next week, we will have a listing of all open positions. Um, we'll have a specific page that lists all the open positions. Most of them are going to be around our live production, which will be happening November through January in D.C., near D.C. at Tyson's Corner. That said, there are plenty of open positions and we're really we're focusing on real, true inclusion. So just for the world's information, um, one in four adults, one in four people of all ages, one in four people in our country have some disability or other. The employment rate for people with disabilities is crazy low. So you figure 25 percent of our population has a disability. Yeah. Most companies, though they are required to have 7% of their workforce people with disabilities, most companies have between 3% down to 0%. Yeah. We have 26%. Beautiful thing. Yes. Beautiful thing. Now, people aren't always qualified off the bat because they've never had the opportunities. They've never had the door open to them for education. They don't know how to do these jobs because they've never had the opportunity to learn them. So we have an apprenticeship program. If you are interested in a particular job, if you want to go on a particular path, if you've got some experience, um, please do contact us because we will set you up. We will partner you with someone who does know that job really well so that you can learn it so that you will have an entree into our world and be able to take it on. So we have that apprenticeship program. We also have a diversity, equity, and inclusion program for corporations where we can teach people who 
have never had this experience, how to walk in someone else's shoes and how to talk to them. Maybe they feel a little awkward talking to someone with a disability because they don't want to be offensive, but they're just not really sure. Right. Yeah. yeah. So Definitely. let us help you feel more comfortable. Beautiful. Let us help bring the world together. And any corporations who are listening and would like to put your name on this, we would love to include you. We have a sponsorship package. We are nonprofit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone, please do email us. Keep up with our website, omniumcircus.org. All the information will be posted on that, as well as all of our social channels. Definitely, if you have the opportunity, come catch us. <laughs> we are very inclusive. Yes. We will accommodate any needs that you may have for all children of all ages to enjoy yes. this spectacular it show is. entitled Omnium. Circus. Yay! <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. Before you sign off, I got to give you a special treat, Brian. Would you please introduce Omnium Circus in your ringmaster voice? Because you guys got to hear this. <laughs> oh, I want to hear oh, this. Oh, got to hear that. You ready? you ready? Okay, go ahead. It's gonna. I'm gonna keep it down because I'm home now. But I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna be a little loud. So get ready. <laughs> and now, please welcome our inaugural all-inclusive show, Omnium Circus. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> hey, trust me, I couldn't do that right now. Uh, and he did it. He circus. did it right on <laughs> <laughs> beautiful man, beautiful. I'm, 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 just to let you know, Brian, I'm smiling from ear to ear. I can't uh, talk right now because I have to watch. That's great. Smile on my face, brother. That's great, man. You know, I just love, I just love the fact that that we um were able to interact with you and that we uh are part of this movement right now. And thank you guys so so much for having us. We are so grateful. You're so welcome. Thank if you me. want to show your support for Dream Young Arts and Media and the Dream Young Effect Podcast, please donate, comment, like, or subscribe.